AITA for removing my wife's wrist privileges. I am not the original poster. That is U S U P E R M O O N inflation. He posted in R, am I the asshole? Mood spoiler. Low stakes red. Less than. Original post. March 17, 2023. Sorry for this random throwaway. I am 36 meters and she is 34 F. The honest core of this question is that I am super anti, notification. I know I sound like a boomer but I got sick of knowing that Aunt Maple commented on my Insta post. Years ago. I will open the app if I want to know that. I do not need to know about Aunt Maple's comment until the second I seek out that information. However. I appreciated the health and activity features on the Apple Watch. So I got one for myself and I tediously curated the information delivered to me on my wrist. Notifications are even worse on the watch because I can't exactly just flip the watch over and ignore it. My wife, whom I love very much, wanted to make sure she could get a hold of me. So we use a chat app that allows notifications. The rules were very clear when I switched to this app. She can text me once and I'll answer at my earliest convenience. I will always know it is her texting because she is the only person who has access to my wrist. Notifications. Any more than one text means, emergency. She has run afoul of that rule many times. As you can guess. She says she very literally cannot stop herself when she gets excited and that she's not neurotypical like me so I can't understand. And she's right. I don't understand what it's like to have ADHD. But I do know what my boundaries are with my wrist buzzing while I'm at work. Last week, she sent me like four consecutive texts because she found out that her coworker, who I don't know and frankly do not care about, had gotten a DUI while he was in college years ago. So that night I sat down with her and said I was not going to do the wrist notifications anymore and that I'd regularly check my phone for messages from her. She was kind of vaguely mad about it for a week. But yesterday I finally just confronted her about it and she said that she thought I was being disrespectful of her limitations and that everyone gets used to notifications eventually. I said it had been three months and I was still not used to it. And she said I should give it more time. Here's where I might have been an asshole. I told her I thought this was a tiny issue that wasn't even worth being angry about. I still check my phone for her texts and I've never missed one by more than like 15 minutes. I also explained that she can still call me if there's an emergency. She's still mad. AITA? Relevant comments. More about what happens. She just fires them off. It's very obvious that she's not even thinking she just gets excited and her fingers start working. How often does she do this? Daily. Weekly. Monthly. Like. Daily. Sometimes many times per day. More concise explanation of the issue. We have one chat app. I enjoy texting with her during the day. When I got the watch. I agreed to let her send me notifications on my wrist. So long as they weren't excessive. The problem is that I want to turn on DND on her. In violation of the agreement that she could text me and I'd receive notifications on my wrist. ETA. Same post. 9 hours later. Okay, she got home and I just had a short but really helpful conversation with her. She said that she didn't really want to buzz me all the time. But she felt really special that she was the only person who I allowed to text me on the watch. She was sad that we lost that little intimate connection. And that makes total sense and we both committed to finding a good solution that makes us both happy. Really sorry that I dragged so many people into this. It was a small thing that could have been solved by both us being super vulnerable and honest with each other. Oop is voted NTA. Though there are many different verdicts. Update post. March 31st. 2023. Two weeks later. I wanted to update this to share some things I learned while we resolve this problem. 
Obviously, it ended up fine. It was a small problem that bubbled over. Not a real issue. For people out there with ADHD partners especially guys with ADHD girlfriends and wives I learn. Two things that could help you in the future. 1. Rejection sensitivity is a common symptom of ADHD. Especially in women. It stings extra when someone tells you, no. That's why I got a big reaction from my wife. I didn't feel like I was rejecting her. Only setting a boundary. But she felt differently. And her feelings matter to me. 2. Lots of people with ADHD have been told their entire lives that they are too much. And that they should take it down a notch. This is true of my wife. Who has a very big personality. Hearing me ask her to control her wrist buzzes seemed a lot to her like I was telling her to be smaller. To shut up. Those two things combined created hard feelings on her end. There was always going to be some conflict when I set that boundary. But I could have been more sensitive. And she could have been more communicative and understanding. These are the travails of marriage. It was a little speed bump and we got over it. Thanks to all the commenters. Ada. This was the solution. Honestly. It is so dumb simple. We moved the us app. Google chat. To her second screen and moved the app we use with everyone. Signal. To her home screen. She can still access my wrist. But she has to think about it for an extra quarter second. It has solved 100% of the problem. Relevant comments. This sweet exchange. Commenter. Man. I bet you're going to get a lot of, but NTA. Set boundaries. Replies here. But as a woman with ADHD, I have to say what I appreciate is your understanding of insensitivity. Toward your wife. Sometimes no one has done anything wrong, and there's miscommunication or assumptions or just years of baggage that make something really hit a sore spot. Being able to talk about that last one with empathy is so key. She's lucky to have you. OOP's response. I married a whole ass woman. Not just the parts of her that are easy. I'm sure I drive her a lil nuts in various ways too. She's worth it smiling face with hearts. I'm glad it got all cleared up. My first reaction to wrist privilege was imagining Oop saying, Nope. You're not allowed to use your wrists anymore. You used them for evil too much. Mon app rearrangement can be so critical. I was spending more than I wanted to on food delivery so I buried all my apps in a sub subfolder. Three pages over so I have to really hunt for it. I went from getting food delivered 12 times a week to maybe once a month. If that. I'm glad they resolved the issue together but as a woman with ADHD this would annoy the F out of me. And is exactly why I have notifications turned off in every app and usually have my phone silenced. In general. The solution they came up with is genius. So many ADHD solutions involve taking something that isn't happening inside the head and making it part of the external. I'm a Gen Xer who's gone from loving his phone and social media and notifications to absolutely hating all of it. I get that this guy might seem like a lot, and I'd probably have said so a few years ago. But man do I miss the days when people didn't feel entitled to getting a hold of me whenever they felt like it. I've taken to putting my phone in a drawer most nights and it's been so damn nice. As an ADD sufferer I felt that rejection sensitivity and the too much components of his explanation a little too much so to speak. When I am excited, I speak loudly God. It hurts when my husband tells me to quiet down. I'm glad Op was empathetic enough to work through this with his spouse that is the difference in a Good relationship and a bad relationship. Communication. I didn't feel like I was rejecting her. Only setting a boundary. But she felt differently. And her feelings matter to me. Wow. 
If only more people were so understanding and willing to see it from the other's perspective. Rejection sensitivity is a common symptom of ADHD. I thought everyone had these feelings. I'm not crazy right? Please tell me I'm right. Well, glad the original seems to have worked it out. Honestly as I have a GF that will text through the day. And used to at night as we are currently long distant and different time zones and I have it set. Where she can get a hold of me through anything even DND. I did let her know that my watch buzzes and wakes me up if she texts too late. She has since stopped unless it is a total emergency. But all other times are fair game. I love her with every ounce of my being. Letting her text me anytime. Except when I sleep boundary. Is a very small price to pay for having her in my life. But I do understand the other side of the coin. Communication is key. Lots of people with ADHD have been told their whole lives that they are too much. It's me. Hi. I mean I'm all for boundaries but it's pretty common to hit send between paragraphs in text. Messages and who texts in an emergency. That's literally the only time I want a phone call now. I actually get this. I had to mute my family chat as at work after my nephew was born my entire family would blow that thing up all day with pictures and comments while I was working my wrist would be buzzing like mad. So you gotta do what's best for you. OOP's response. I married a whole ass woman. Not just the parts of her that are easy. I'm sure I drive her a lil nuts in various ways too. She's worth it smiling face with hearts. This pleading face as it should be. Best way to treat an ADHD issue. Introduce one extra step to doing that thing. Too much time on social media. Set it to log out. Too much time on mobile games. Put them in a folder etc. Snacking. Put the snacks in a Tupperware container. Lock the container in a safe. Then sink that in a river. It will slow you down at least. This is a hella relatable situation. From the other side. The RSD is real. My wife can be really hard to reach even though we have three different systems for messaging. While 99% of the time it's not a problem. Just a little stressful for me. One time it was. And I've forever after been hyper aware of the fact that she has zero notifications on. Even when I have mine set to notify if she, specifically and only her, messages me. It's nice seeing someone be so loving and understanding of the struggles of ADHD without compromising their boundaries. I love text messaging and the read when you get to it nature it has implied. Communication expectations, demands are getting to be too much with the use of group chats and notices of whether or not something has been read i'm beginning to appreciate snail mail from friends and family more and more i have loved the photos as greeting cards and the baby stuff i got in the past six months i would have just muted her without even telling her i hate when ppl are just spamming me with messages when i'm trying to work i can't turn off my phone cause we use them at work so PPL that start annoying me get muted for the next 810 hours. I get wanting to send someone something. But if I know they're busy. I put it on the note app and later. At a better time. Send them a screenshot of it. Yeah they fixed the mood spoiler on mobile. I don't understand why they didn't just use one app for her to talk about the unimportant. Less urgent stuff on and one for her to message for things that needed oops attention further like let her text if she wants to talk about her co-worker but if she needs oop to know they need milk or say there's an emergency she can message the app as someone with adhd we use two different chat programs for this reason discord is for anything i'd like him to read but isn't urgent and that's silent on his phone. 
If it's something important I'd like a quick response on. WhatsApp, which isn't silent. It's worked brilliantly so far. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.